Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is about how to solve a void cube. But Dice, what's a void cube? Well, the void cube is actually like a 3x3, three three, except it doesn't have the center pieces. See? Centerpiece? No centerpiece, it's just a hole. A void, actually. Although it doesn't have a centerpiece, it still has the two main pieces we discussed from the Rubik's Cube. So there's the corner pieces and the edge pieces, except the centerpieces. So now, just like any other scrambled 3x3, three three, the first thing we have to do is to solve the white cross. So let's go ahead and scramble this cube. So, now that it's scrambled, let's go ahead. Since the void cube lacks the center pieces, like this one, any face can be the white face. Now this void cube variation has gold instead of white, so I'll go with gold. Since there are two gold edges here, I'll go with this as the gold face. The void cube's color scheme is also the same as the regular 3x3, where white is always opposite to yellow, orange is always opposite to red or pink, and blue is always opposite to green. So now let's go ahead and do the gold cross. Like this, cross, with the exception of the centerpiece. As I've said, orange should be opposite to pink, and green should be opposite to blue. So the gold blue should go here, and the gold pink should go here. So since the gold blue is here, we can just put it up, and there's one, actually three. So now let's go look for the final piece, which is over here, and we can just turn and put it up. So now we have blue opposite to green, and orange opposite to pink. So now that we got the color set up, let's check if they are correct. So to check, you need to place at least one piece in its place. So here, we need to put the gold, pink, green in its place. So it's here. So we can do R prime, D, and R. So as you can see, it's the opposite. So how do we fix this? Well, we just remove the piece, and you do the following steps. You could do F2, D2, B2, D2, and F2. So now we've switched the colors. Gold pink was here a while ago, now it's gold orange, and now gold pink is right here. So now let's check if it's correct. Um, let's go look for the piece, this one, and then we have to place it here. So we can do down, L, D prime, del prime. So now it's correct. See? Green, pink, and then green, pink. You may have noticed I've been struggling with trying to turn the cube because of the lack of the centerpiece. It's actually really hard to twist the cube. See? Well, now that the colors are correct, let's go ahead and solve the first layer. So we have orange, gold, green here, and this needs to go here. So we need to put it down first. We can do L, D prime, and then L prime. Then we can do L, D prime, and L prime again. Now it's back up. If your piece is opposite to the white side, what we can do is to put the white side on the bottom and do the following steps. If it's on the left, we can do L prime, U2, and L. And then to put it in its place, we can do U, U, then L prime, U prime, and L. Now it's in its place. If it's on the right side, we can do R, U2, R prime, and then to put it in its place, we can do U prime, R, U, and R prime. So now let's go ahead and solve the second layer. So the formula for this is pretty much the same as the regular 3x3, three three, so you can watch my video about it. So. We need to 
look for the blue pink, it's over here. So since pink is on the bottom, we need to make the bar and check the top color. So it's blue, it is on the left side. So we need to put it on the right. So the algorithm would go as L prime, U, and L. And then we turn to the blue side, and then U, R, U prime, and R prime. So now we have blue pink in its correct place. Let's go ahead and solve it for all the pieces as well. So after solving the second layer, like the 3x3, three three, you can end up with four possible outcomes. So you have nothing, you can have the J, you can have the line, finally you can have the cross solved for you. Just to recap, you can do this algorithm three times if you don't have any yellow edges correct. So it's F, R, U, R prime, U prime, and F prime. And then you turn the cube two times, like one, two. So now you're on the opposite side, and this has to be a J. There's F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime, and then you have to do it again. That's F, R, U, R prime, U prime, and finally F prime. So now you have the cross. So now that we have the yellow cross, let's go ahead and check the edge colors. So orange, blue, green, orange, blue, green, pink. So since there is only one, let's check by turning. So do we have two now? Green and orange. So we have two now. Again, we have to put one correct pair away from you and the other one to the left. So orange and green. The algorithm goes like this. So it's R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, and U prime. The last step is to put the corners in the right places and to orient them correctly. So like the 3x3, three three, we have to make sure that at least one piece is in its correct place. Well, since there's none, let's do the algorithm in any phase, and it goes like this. So it's L prime, U, R, U prime, L, U, R prime, and U prime. So now that we have one, let's put it on the right side and let's do the algorithm again. So it's L prime, U, R, U prime, L, U, R prime, and U prime. So there, there are four correct pieces, but since these two are not oriented, let's do one final algorithm. The algorithm goes like this. So it's R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, and R prime, and then L prime, U2, L, U, L prime, U, and L. So since they're still not correct, let's do it one last time. So R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, L prime, U2, L, U, L prime, U, and finally L. And now we have resolved void cube. What's special to the void cube is you may come across a parity. So there are two parities, one of which is the two adjacent edges are swapped. So to solve this, you have to put one incorrect piece on the right side, and the other one should be on the back. So to fix this, you have to do M, U, R, U, R prime, U prime, M prime, M prime, U, R, U prime, R prime, M prime, U, M prime, U prime, M two, 
and finally U prime. The second parity is when the two opposite side edges are swapped. So this green and this blue. So to fix this, you have to put both sides to the right and left, and you do the following. So it's F2, U, L, R prime, F2, L prime, and R, U, and F2. So this will bring you to the adjacent state, and you have to do the algorithm from there. So we finally finished the void cube. Yay! <laughs> what do you think? Do you have any suggestions for my next cube video? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to know if I posted a new video. Thanks for watching, and have this video of me popping my cube. R, U prime, <laughs> L prime. Dice out.